All right, welcome to the guide on uh, EOIT. We're gonna go over this real quick, just a quick guide on this. All right, so I see this one come up a lot as uh, to what EOIT is, and basically it's end of injection timing or the target, um, however you wanna reference that or however it works for you. Um, but yeah, it's e end of injection, so that's what we're looking at. Um, so normally uh, this is just adjusted to delay the injection a little bit, um, usually when you have a really bad fuel smell in the air because you got a lot of overlap. Um, you can absolutely go too far with this, so uh, go up in a little small increments at a time and uh, whatever works for your engine, it's going to show up in a little bit retro numbers on your um, on your uh, VE table or your air table uh, on your wideband should show a little bit richer um, if you got this right. Um, it's it's kind of tough to uh, nail down, so uh, bear with me, uh, we'll just go through this real quick, should be a fast video. All right, so on uh, the Gen 3s, the GM target for EOIT is uh, listed in reference periods. So you're gonna have um, eight of those uh, in the reference periods having to be 90 degrees. If you multiply eight by nine, you're gonna get 720. Interestingly enough, that's also how many degrees the crankshaft travels um, basically uh, per cycle of the engine on four strokes. So as uh, you see, it's 720 degrees, imagine that. So. Um, Keep in mind 360 is top dead center uh, between valve vents and we'll go over the strokes real quick because we should have a basic understanding of that before we mess with the, in with the injector timing. Okay, so I put this in here just to be clear. So before we go inje adjusting injection timing, we kind of need to know what the uh, strokes are in degrees and uh, what's going on and what those reference periods actually are. So um, 0 to 180 is our power stroke. 180 to 360, aka TDC, is our exhaust. At 360 to 540 is the intake. 540, 720 again is compression. So uh, here it'd be fired, say uh, 20 degrees advanced, it'd fire at 700. Um, so hopefully this makes sense. Uh, we need to understand this before we go messing with injection timing. All right, so here's our formula. Uh, it's gonna be boundary plus normal times 90 minus 784. And that's gonna give us our EOIT in degrees um, or end, in, end of injection target. Uh, so the actual from the stock tune P01 is going to be 6.5 plus 5.55. Multiply that number by 90, subtract 784, and we're going to see that it's 300.5 degrees, which is way before the intake even opens on a stock engine. So um, that's actually interesting to note because uh, the fuel actually sits on the backside of a closed intake valve before uh, the pit before it even opens. Uh, so we'll jump right into the tune. We're going to take a look at this and uh, see how we adjust this. All right, so um, opening up the tune here. So we have a stock tune loaded up. Um, we're gonna go over to the fueling tab right under general, right under our injectors. We're gonna look down on the bottom where you see injector timing. And we see the boundary is 6.5. And uh, we have the normal, then we have the makeup. Now, for, I'm gonna just point out right now, the makeup doesn't actually do anything uh, that I've ever noted. Like it's actually, you can see that stock probably doesn't even do anything with it because the number's just the same right across the board. Um, but if you look at the uh, normal table, uh, this is actually, uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit um, earlier, so it gives it more time to cook on the back uh, back side of the valve. Uh, so keep in mind that this will change your transients a little bit too. Um, so if you shoot the fuel later, it's actually going to uh, end up not having as much time to uh, turn to a vapor. But uh, if you do it as early as stock is set, it's definitely going to let some of that into your pipe and uh, definitely leave that uh, eye blistering uh, smell in the air. So that's the whole, most of the time, the whole reason we do this is to clean up the smell a bit. Um, you can gain a little bit of power and a little bit of efficiency out of it, but it's, it's almost minuscule. So, but uh, basically it's just to clean up that smell. Okay, that's a lot worse than, uh, than you know, gaining five horsepower along the way. It's, and it's usually not why you do this. Uh, so let's see, uh, let's go ahead and do an example real quick. So we take that 6.5, don't mess with the boundary, just leave that alone. Uh, just come to the table and do the um, operating range right here. So right in this range is where you make your adjustment. Uh, so we'll pull up the calculator real quick. Just do a quick uh, quick adjustment here. So we have 555. Five, five. So we've already done the math on that. We know that comes out 300.5. But we want to target, let's go ahead and target, um, let's say 340 or in that range. Let's, uh, let's move it back uh, 40 degrees um, just, just for, just for, uh, just for grins. So let, let's try six and see what that gives us. And uh, we'll take six, and we'll just go ahead and uh, take six and add that to 6.5. And the equals before 12.5, we multiply that by 90. We're gonna get 11.25, we subtract 784 off that. 
and we get 341 so that's that's actually pretty good they're 341 cool so six gives us 341 degrees um, all right so that would uh, be something you could write in and try if you uh, that can be too far for depending on your engine in your cam this uh, this number is definitely going to be dependent on your engine so uh, I recommend when you're doing this it might take a few tries because um, it is kind of guesswork when it comes to the how, how, how the dynamics are working in the cylinder so and how the transient and fuel is cooking off and doing all that stuff so going back just a few a little bit at a time so if we go 6.05 you know something like that uh, th then we do the math for that so we, we get a different number to see let's see what 0.05 does for us we go 6.05 and we add that to 6.5 now we multiply that by 90 and then we subtract 784 we'll see that that moved it back four to four whole degrees um, um, four and a half so you can see uh, make small adjustments so well, every one degree is about, or, or every 1.1 1. 1 here is about 8 degrees, or 9 degrees uh, as you go. As you see, that's how that works. Um, so uh, keep that in mind. Don't go too far, because you can. You can absolutely go too far with this. So uh, just, just go up until the smell is better, and it's going to be pretty subjective. So it's kind of a, just a kind of guesstimate. And again, this will play with your transients, and it will probably also make your uh, engine run a little bit richer when you have it right. You'll actually see that it will run a little bit more efficient. Uh, but other than that, that's all I got. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, and, uh, and I'll see you later.